Yeah. You're going to see me after school now. Where was my teacher going to be? They're not going to be walking me home for mm -hmm. the rest of my life. You know what I mean? You got to do something. You have to be non-aggressive. You can't have a mindset where you... Exactly. So a kid is being bullied. They're being harassed. They're about to get assaulted. They're pushing you. So you're yeah. saying grab their hands. Have conflict resolution, yes. right? Not fighting. Fighting should be the no, last option. Fighting right. shouldn't even be an option, by the way. Mm -hmm. But it should be conflict resolution. You need to have a conversation with them, with their family, with whatever, right? Exactly. Rooted. So, yeah, okay, it's go ahead. Rooted. Go ahead. Root it. Come on, Eric. That's all you got, Eric? Nothing. Maybe talk to them. Befriend them. Talk to them. Hey, what's going on? What's happening at home, bro? Hey, if you need, if you need to feel better about yourself by beating me up, I will do that for you. I love you. Come on. That's a lot. Yeah. Right? Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. The Burger King thing. Oh, American Shaolin. So it's, Shaolin, it talks Shaolin. about what's yes. happening to the Buddhist monks. Okay. And what's happening coming, to them? Well, it's just like they're becoming more Westernized. Basically. Shut up. Yeah. You eating Burger King? No, man. They gotta stick to halal, bro. Yes. Forget this yeah, nonsense. Man, they're starting to become because the Shaolin is. What is the Shaolin? Right? Tell us. So Shaolin is. is you know, it stems from the martial arts, but it's originally the the Buddhist monks, and you know they were. You're a martial artist. Yes. No way. Correct. But what what level belt and all um, that? Like? So second degree black belt. Shut um, up, bro. Yeah. That sounds mad lethal. It is mad right? lethal. Yeah, it is yeah, right. Cool. So what do you? What could you do? I, like what I, could you do right now? Show me something. You know how to use that? Yeah, yeah that's Is there enough for. space for you to do that? Like, not it's just, here. Not here. <laughs> that sounds like Step Brothers. It's like a, we have a more room for activities. The over there Stop it. it. Yeah. Like there? I don't yeah. know. Shut up. You wielded the sword here? Okay, yeah. bro, like, okay, show us a move. Um, what's called? So these are like your, your Ninja Turtle ones. Does this mean it's uh, recording, by the way? If it's blinking? Um, that's a good question. Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is. Okay, wait, wait, those are the white, wait, show me this. So I can put this down? Yeah. Okay, show me, wait, why, why does it, why does it not stick? Why does it, why does it move? How oh, can you make it stick? You gotta, um, this is when you know I'm, I'm cheap. <laughs> I need to save money for better equipment. How do you like make it stand still? So you just have to push that there, so then it locks. Oh, that's brilliant. No, yeah. it's not cheap, bro. This is actually very practical. Okay. Oh God. That's a fall. Bro, you're not a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you need a little more Master Splinter in your life. All right, uh, show me what, okay, so what would you do with this? Okay, so. Oh God, this is heavy. Yeah. Who, yeah. Which, which Ninja Turtle had this? Um, Raphael. Uh, oh. Raphael, oh, wait, so are you supposed to kill people with this? What are you supposed to do with these? Well, that's what it was for. Originally, Originally. Like, Originally. War, so, so yeah. were they like the history of it? Were they warriors? Well, so what it started as, it was just the the Shaolin monks, this is and like, they're just practicing. This they're is, just living by their, you know, their Buddhist ways, following the water course path. They're like the Sahabas, and, originally. Yeah, yeah. You, know, and you, know, you know, in Islam, in Islam yeah. we, we, it's not so far-fetched for us to imagine that Buddha mm. could have been bringing, like, the same message that I'm telling you yeah. now. He could have been easily a prophet. He could have been yeah. one. He easily could have, right? Mm -hmm. But... People called his religion Buddhism, but he didn't call it Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Does that mean? Thank you so much. Thank you. But but you know what I mean by that, bro? Yeah. People, we called it Buddhism, but Buddha didn't call it Buddhism. Mm. He could have called it something else. He could have called it. You know what I mean? But look at his teachings. How it aligns with Islam. Same thing. Yeah. That's why we connect. That's bro. what I mean. Like, okay, okay. Very similar. So okay, so cool. What do cool, I do cool, with cool. this? So the you know different forms of grip. There's okay. one, right? So this might be. You know, just your stabbing motion. Stabbing yes. motion? Yeah. Okay. And then with your thumb, you can hook this towards you. Yeah. Okay. Oh so now you're holding it like this. So this is, it becomes almost like a shield oh. against blades. Yeah. And then this becomes another strike point. Shut up. Yeah. Okay, so what would you do with this? Like, do something with this. So... Without breaking your teeth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it might be like something, like you might come down and block something low. And then if there's another person over there, wow. strike there. Look at your phone. Look at that! Oh! oh that's like yeah. something in slow motion, bro. That would be yeah. sick. Okay, okay. So those are literally your, your, your weapons. Okay, so what yeah. could you do, right? Let's put this down first. What could you, sh like, do someone's like, this, suppose this is self-defense, right? Yeah. So maybe a kid. Maybe a kid is being bullied, right? Mm -hmm. And on the way home, they're about to get assaulted. What's a nice trick, a thing a kid could do? So, to, like, classic one is because most kids push. Yes. Right. So when they push in, yeah. what you do is you you hold on and then oh my and go God. down. So, okay, so push me. So I go push. And then yeah, but um, okay, wait, so, so when it's here, yeah. keep 
So you want to keep my hands cl as close to your body. Okay, okay, okay. So do that. Yeah, and then yeah, like that. bring them down. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. So so do it to me, wait. So then, so what I'm doing is okay. I'm locking your. You're mad strong, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank okay, okay, okay. you. I'm locking your joints, so it's called chin na, which what? is bone locking. Bone yeah. locking. Okay, so don't lock it too hard, bro. Yeah, I only so got I'm hands. causing your body to move in a way it's not meant to, and that's what causes the pain. Okay, because so you're doing this, so yeah. you're putting it at a 90 degree angle. It shouldn't yeah. be there. Okay, this is 90 degree angle. And then but you're you not push break, back. But but you yeah. can easily break my hands like that too if yeah. you wanted to. And then another. If you wanted to, you could. Yeah. Yeah, but you wouldn't. You would no, just want a defense. Yeah, and then. But imagine him running <laughs> after you like this. <laughs> <laughs> he would run away from exactly. you, bro. He would run away from you. Not yet. Yeah, bro, that's, that's what Hey Arnold did. Want to look for his soup? Yeah. This, do remember that episode where Hey no, Arnold? Hey Arnold's the truth. Bro, remember that episode yeah. where he got trained by his grandma or something like mm -hmm. that in martial arts, and then he just realized that martial arts is for self-defense, not to cause problems. Exactly. See? So that's his original meaning for Yeah, okay. so that's what it draws back to before with the Shaolin. Okay. You know, they're just monks practicing what yeah. they believed in, yeah. in the mountains, yeah. away from society, sure. to be really full, immersed, and like we were saying, grounded. But then what was happening is that there was... Um, Think Mongolians, they would get pillaged and murdered. Mm -hmm. So like other groups of, That's you know, wrong. the traveling bandits mm -hmm. would come and kill people. And, you know, the monks eventually was like, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Because we can't, you know, we want to follow, mm -hmm. you know, the Buddhist mm -hmm. ways mm -hmm. and all this and you know, cherishing life, but we can't just keep dying. Yeah, yeah. So then that's what, it, ironically, Sorry, they say the founder of Buddhism, um, they say came from India. Wow. So it's interesting. Wow, so that like, is very interesting. Yeah, so you say Shouldn't that. Shouldn't the founder of Buddhism be Buddha? Think about that. That's true. Right? Yeah. Shouldn't it be him, actually? Yeah. But this just shows you the potential of so many innovations to take mm. place within your religion. Let yeah. me ask you a true question, right? Just God on his truth. Just God yeah. on his truth. Really quick, bro. I added cool. a chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle God soup. soup. You can say, well, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Kosher? Okay. Let me, let me ask you this, right? Again? Yeah. Come here, bro. Come over here. Okay? This is a statue of yeah. who? Who is this statue of? No, it's just a, a Buddha. Buddha, General right? Buddha, Can I ask yeah. you a question? Sure. Do you think Buddha would have, wanted, would have wanted you to make a statue of him? Let me ask you that. That's a good question. Probably right? not. Probably not. Probably not. Doesn't that, too, in his mind, he's trying to live a free life, yeah. doesn't that make him seem that you're worshipping him? Yeah. Think about that, right? He didn't want this. That's what I'm saying, bro. Shouldn't the founder have a Buddhism be Buddha? The fact mm. that it's someone else shows the amount of potential for innovations within his own teachings. Yeah. Like things that are attributed to Buddhism that don't even belong to him. Exactly. Did he ever say, do not worship God? He never said that. No. I would actually argue that he pointed towards a higher creator. Mm. I would actually argue that that's what realized that when he realized he grew up in an affluent household, there's something missing inside yeah. of him. You know what I mean? And he discovered something and he had this revelation mm -hmm. of some sort. That could easily be revelation from God, right? But after time, mm. people change the story up. Yeah. You understand what I mean? I don't think Buddha, but this is still pretty dope nonetheless. Okay, bro, I need to try that. <laughs> Teacher Max. Here. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey so guys, put your hands on my chest. Yeah. Everything's up scenes close. Shut. Okay, okay. Oh. Kennedy's. Kennedy's. Next Kennedy's. Yeah. Kennedy's. Kennedy's. Right. Okay. Let's so put your hands on my chest again. So yeah. Okay. So one second. So it was. So be... you're holding it close to your body while you step back. Oh, when I step back. While yeah, I step yeah. Back. Okay, so. So holding it close. Like this. And then. I'm still not doing it right though. So and move it down. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so put it on again. Okay. Is that better? A little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Do it again, do it again. Is better. that better? Is that yeah. better? So what am I supposed to do after that? So you, okay, you got me here. Push me down. So. Okay. So then there's, it depends you're, what you're, you want to do. <laughs> yeah, so there's that one. <laughs> you want to end this life? Yeah. Fatality. Okay, exactly. so okay, you have me down. Now I'm at your mercy. So there's that one. Okay. Or you could. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh my God! You're at they're at your beck and call. You exactly. know what I mean? They've been And it to doesn't your... take a lot of force on your part either. So that's the energy. Their energy. So once again, like we spoke about off camera, nothing's ever lost. Even no. your energy, your energy converts. Exactly. You know what I mean? You converted their energy into yeah. kinetic. All of a sudden, the potential, sort of when it touched mm -hmm. you, you made it into kinetic, and look how much like force just happened. Okay. Exactly. So a kid is being bullied. They're being harassed. They're about to get assaulted. They're pushing you. So you're yeah. saying, grab their hands. Pull him back. Okay, down. So what should that kid do now? So I should, mean, should the goal be for me to fall, or should, should that kid do some probably, type of street fighter move? The goal is probably to get up, because you know the self defense. You're not. It's not for you to actively hurt other people. It's sure. like your last line of defense. Yeah. We practice it for 
You know, some people just enjoy. Do you the teach this at your, at, at your, at your? No way. Yeah. Do you teach like for self defense and bullying? Yeah. So I'll give them perspective on it. You know. Yeah. And the reality of situation. Yeah. You know, sometimes the school systems can provide it, especially the red tape that they give to yeah. students, and they're not there for them when they go outside of school. You might get yeah. them here. Yeah. But what happens but when they the leave? The problems can carry. Yeah. Exactly. Obviously, you have to school. Damn, right? Yeah. You're going to see me after school now. Where was my teacher going to be? They're not going to be walking me home for mm -hmm. the rest of my life. You know what I mean? You got to do something. So let me ask you this. Psychologically, a bully feels significant and he finds his significance by doing that. Psychologically. Okay, yes. cool. Now, the child strips away his significance when they show you I defeated you. Exactly. Right? So do you think that that psychologically messes with the bully to let them know that I'm not this little weak thing over here. Exactly. I just did something to you. Yeah. Which, which that in itself was self-defense. Because think about it. Mm -hmm. Let's suppose they weren't humbled by that and they decided to do it again to you. Yeah. You do it, but this time new repercussions. So you have me yeah. down, and then what should the kid do now? Unless so this well, is the second time they're doing now it. Now they, they could go for that strike, or they could just, um, okay. so yeah. you could, you know, just flip them okay. around. Wow. And then start wow. to... Wow. Wow. And then you would run... Strike them at their phone. Right, you just strike them at their phone. Start stomping them out. <laughs> right, okay, okay. okay yeah. but, but hear me out, right? The first time you gave them a signal that don't touch me like that, yeah. right? And that was powerful. So the smart bully would have been humbled. Most bullies, yeah. I would argue, would be humbled and be like, yo, leave them alone, ah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But if that one person tries to do it against you, so mm. let's suppose it's not a, it's not a push anymore. It's yeah. a punch. So a kid is about to fight. Let's go. Let's go. What mm. what do you teach a kid? So ironically, wax on, wax off is pretty. <laughs> it's pretty legit. Okay, Mr. Miyagi. It actually works. Okay. Yeah. So right. so if they come in, you know they can suck his fight. Like, of course, yeah, because right, because yeah. they try and do that. Yeah. Yo, let's go, let's it's go. fine because it doesn't matter how fast the same thing will work. Yeah. So if you strike from the outside, like so if you okay, want so. To, Oh yeah, God. yeah, and and you know what? It's really hurting the inside of the arms. If yes, you think about and then the other thing imagine is, if you um, had this this blade thing of a jig there, right? Yeah, and, sure. and you're striking, and they just break their arm. Here, I found Epstein's on okay. the seamless. You is it so? Build your sandwich. No, 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 but 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 the whole one said I thought Epstein was closed. No, they took it off on Uber, but they're on seamless. They're I just want, I just want the uh, smoked turkey sandwich. I don't know. Oh, you yeah. don't want the toppings? No, I don't know. Just, I don't know, just surprise me. Just no tomatoes, surprise me. No tomatoes. So okay, then the, yeah. the next thing, um, this is separate. Is so the, the Shaolin, they what train, is this? Oh my God, they train what is iron this? body training. Yeah. So then oh when my you do God. those blocks. Oh, bro, this looks like a jaru. No, what, bro, a jaru is basically this cleaning device that in Pakistan and yeah. India we use. Bro, this is like, bro, this might be like seven pounds. Maybe yeah, six so pounds. you start off with, with wood, but then you, you start to train the body and get used to the impact. It's, and over time, they call it. Um, oh God! They call it iron. It's like calicing. Yeah, they like call my, it my iron wrapped in cap um, cotton. Yeah. Say that again. They call it iron wrapped in cotton. Iron wrapped in cotton. Your yeah. arms become iron wrapped in cotton. Yeah. Really. And you'll start to see it when you. So train if someone with hits people. you, they're gonna get hurt. Yeah. So if you if when you're training for a long time and you develop it in your body, your bones get stronger. And Yo, this, this isn't too like, bad. This is like a cool idea. My bones are getting stronger. I don't want to break mm -hmm. my watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I feel like this area is exactly. tender. I gotta do it more there. So, so basically, what you're saying is this, bro. All right, bet, bet. Yeah. Doing this, and then you're yeah, okay. So I bet, bet. Oh god. So then, and your arm is iron, iron in freaking wrapped in yeah. cotton. So I'm like, oh yeah. damn! I'm gotta get out of here. Okay. If they train hard enough with your block, you can break people's arms just from blocking. What? Well, okay, yeah. so don't do that, obviously. Of course. But, but, <laughs> so, all right. So I bet, bet, and you're, you're just yeah. in the frame. And yeah. So okay, I'm gonna get into it close to your face, okay? Yeah. So at that stage, because I'm not a real boxer, yeah. This arm, you were ready to strike, yeah. slap the <laughs> shit out of me. You were ready to slap. It's you just slap the shit out of me. Exactly. <laughs> you just step forward. So how? Okay. So how important is like being the root grounded? is everything. The root, the root is, everything. is everything. So if a person is about to get yeah. in a fight, what's the first instructions you would give them? Like root up, like get yeah, in a root. Just be in a good root and be conscious. But I heard of that you have happening. to like sort of like stomp down a little bit for that. Um, you just have to squat a little bit. You okay. see how that feels? Yeah. Right. You're engaged, you're activated. Exactly. Okay. So, um, here, I'll show you if you come over here, okay, right? Yeah. So, so they call it the, um, Damabu. So it's okay. the horse stance. That's the translation okay. in Chinese. So it's about feet with a part, shoulder length. Yeah. And then you just bend your knees a little bit. Because you know on a horse, yeah. that's how you have to exactly. sit. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So then this becomes a root. So if you notice, right, you could try to push me from the side. 
but when you become rooted and grounded, the force is, you know, you're not going there. Okay, so you gotta ditch yeah. me. Oh, damn! No, 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 Wow. Right? You feel okay, how? let me stand up straight and do it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, just right. regular. Oh, shoot! You see what I mean? Okay, so it just becomes like, you're more wobbly like this. Yes. But like this, I, I'm rooted. So, yeah, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. To go ahead. Rooted. Come on, yeah, Eric! That's all you got, Eric! Nothing! Nothing! We're too strong here! Alright, right. cool, cool, cool. That's stronger. That's, that's, so, that's so good. That's so good. Okay, good. So, let's suppose, okay, I'm gonna see you after school. I'm gonna yeah. see you after school, son. That's it. And so his friends are there. Oh, yeah. got the phones out. Oh, yeah, exactly. damn. Oh, damn. You want to get knocked out, E? You want to get knocked out? Okay, so, true, true. so so, you sound out all that. You got to sound out all that nonsense. Garbage, mm -hmm. right? They're just trying to distract you. Don't get overwhelmed with that, right? Root. Root yourself, right? Yeah, root get ready. yourself. Good. Good. Get the strength over here. Yeah. So look, I already noticed that yeah, your so one foot is already a little bit out. So there's uh, different types of stance accordingly. So this is your Dhammabu. That traditional stand. Show me the, the other This boo. is a gung boo. So a gung boo? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they already got the gung shoe right there, bro! Yeah, right there. This okay, is okay. your forward okay. stance. Okay, the forward stance. Okay, cool. All so, right. I got my gung boo. Yeah, so it's about um, just a little bit of space in between your legs. But about, you're still gung boo, your horse yeah. stance. You still feel it, you're still low. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, about 70% of your weight is in your front leg and okay. 30 in the back. Okay. And then your hips are towards the front. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. So, what's up? So, yo, yo, we're about to square up. Yeah. Square up, right? Yeah. Okay, square up. So, so, okay, this is you square. When you square up in the Kung Fu, so you keep an arm out a little bit forward, okay. and the other one's protecting your rib cage. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so obviously a kid might not have that type of training. Of course. So, so you are after school, square up. So you're telling them, all right, you know, yeah. like don't start walking behind, get in your root pose, yeah. Gung Fu, Gung Fu a little uh, bit. What card do you want to use? Um, this just is uh, the Amazon one. So you're gung boo right now. Yeah. You're gung boo right now. All right, square up. Okay, you're ready. Yeah. So the other person is just like, what's up? What's up? Mm -hmm. What's up? And then so, I come for the swing. So it depends what. There's so many things to do. So we could gung boo in there, yeah. or we could horse well, stand. So in here. Okay. And then you just have like whatever you'd want to do. Hold on one second. Yeah, go ahead, G. Where's your wallet so I can put in the car? It should be in the. the Bro, it's been like. Back. An hour forty-five since I've been here. Yeah. I guess so. Oh Time travels fast. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was okay. I have to go put money in the car. You want to come with? Yeah, sure. Are you able to? You yeah. could do in the uh, uh, app. No, too. I parked down the block. Okay. I came on the wrong. Go move my car too. We'll no move it. All right, cool. Yeah, because I'm like, yo, I don't have quarters, but I, I found enough. All right. I feel you'll be be right there. I have no idea what your cards are. The cards? Yeah. Uh, oh, bro, this is a sick ring. I have one like this. What did you say, Carl? Not in your fanny pack. Yeah, All right. Okay, gotta go. I'm vlogging on your GoPro right now, just so you know. That's what's happening right now. Looking good. Everything is in widescreen right now. I've been realizing, bro, for my YouTube channel, I want to do more like just random videos like this one. You got my phone? You're good? Yeah, just okay. adding the new cord. Thanks. We'll be good. Ready? Do you have a meeting? What? Do you have a meeting or you Um, give me the phone when you're done and I'll check into the meeting. All right, guys. Got to put your mask on. Hello, guys. How are we doing? You okay, Carl? Yeah, I'm just doing this for you. Okay. Do you mind if I borrow one of your AirPods? Where are you trying to listen to music? I'm no, trying to, um, I'll be on the call while we're Oh, you, you have so. a call still? Yeah, it's not. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It'll be oh, I wish I, I have AirPods in my car somewhere, if you want. If you uh, no, it's What's okay. This? Oh, do you want to just finish it out? Oh, oh, man. Kids are going back to school. I want to give you guys a little bit of a gung bow and stuff so you can defend yourself. Back to school training, you know what I mean? I feel like you should be in martial arts. Why not? It's a respectful thing to do. It's cool. It's hip, it's in. But uh, yeah, that's my friend Eric. Eric and I know each other from my graduate school program. See, it's, I feel like I didn't do a good enough job sharing with you guys who I am or what I do or what I was doing at one point. So, what up Eric? Hey. I'm just telling people who you are and how you know me and how I know you. You know what I mean? 
grateful and blessed to uh, same bro same come from a good dude sq you as well you as well Glenda Watt. sure bro i keep touching this yeah, yeah. this is good man this place this building is nice too yeah i got lucky you know got man lucky. eric is honestly one of the nicest people i've ever met honestly I, I i genuinely mean that and you know like i feel like the moment i saw you and i was telling you this earlier bro that i connected with you because everything, every time, you know, you either speak from two places. The first place is a place of love or a cry for help. Anytime anyone ever speaks to you, it's one of the two. It's one of the two. That's it. So if your parents are yelling at you, you have to ask yourself, are they speaking from a place of love, which I doubt, or are they speaking from a place or a cry for help? Right? So your parents are usually upset with you. It's a cry for help. And then all of a sudden, you get upset with them. You're doing a cry for help. Mm. And none of it gets solved. Yeah. Two people crying for help. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. But when one person is crying for help, the other person says, "Hey, what's going on? Yeah. How can we fix it? How can we fix it? Change right? You have to change. You have to change the dialogue. You have to come from a place of love, right? So when I'm showing them right now conflict resolution, mm -hmm. I'm not just talking about martial arts. I'm talking about mindset too. You have to be non-aggressive. You can't have a mindset where you assume the worst in people and think that people are out to get you. And every time someone uh, says something to you, you assume negativity to mm -hmm. it. No. So we just showed you some some uh, self-defense moves." And so the goal should be to, like, have conflict resolution, yes. right? Not fighting. Fighting should be the no, last option. Fighting shouldn't even be an option, by the way. Mm -hmm. But it should be conflict resolution. You need to have a conversation with them, with their family, with whatever, right? Exactly. But the, the number one thing is that if a bully is bullying you, right? It's a reality, too. Which is a reality you have to face with. Know that the, the things that they're saying is a cry for help. Mm -hmm. If you thought of it from that perspective, you feel bad for them. Exactly. And say, hey, bro, listen. He's feeling significant by making me feel bad, okay? Mm -hmm. That means he must be feeling bad. Why are you feeling bad? Why are you feeling bad? Is it your parents? Is it your family? Hmm? Sometimes it seems you got missed street floors. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, why are they upset with you? Why are they taking yeah. it out on you, right? Are they feeling bad? Are they feeling the worst? What could, you know be, happening what could be happening in their homes, in their lives? It's like Chadwick. It was so sad. Wow. Yeah. Super sad. Super, Super sad. sad. He was going through so much in his own time, in his own way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? SubhanAllah. Yeah, exactly. Oh my you god. Okay? I forgot my keys in your house. It's all good. Yeah, we go up there. I see, I love it. <laughs> I love how you interpreted the meaning of that event as oh No, it's all good. We'll go all back good. upstairs. Just another journey. Just another journey, that's it. That's right. Yeah, it has my license and everything up there too. So all right. You know, that's fantastic. Man, listen to me. I appreciate you having me in your beautiful home, mashallah. Absolutely. It's such, it's, such, it's, not, it's such a next level when you get invited to someone's yeah. home, so I appreciate that. And, at the same respect, I feel like this was a good video to help people um, fight off a bully, right? Yeah. Because if, if the fight happens, that means there was built up anger yeah. from before that had to come out in the form of a fight. But before anger was hurt, Right? Before anger was hurt. You, they were hurt in some way because yeah. they felt had a feeling or a sense of loss. Mm -hmm. And the reason they had a sense of loss is because that's how they interpreted that situation. So we need to it's go back. Yes. That's we need true. to go and interpret situations in a more positive way. If that person is bullying you, just know that Allah has sent that person in your life so that you can help them change theirs. Maybe talk to them, befriend them, talk to them. Hey, what's going on? What's happening at home, bro? Hey, if you, need to, if you need to feel better about yourself by beating me up, I will do that for you. I love you. Come on. That's a lot. Yeah. Right? If, if to make you feel better, beating, beating me up is going to make you feel better, I am ready to take that sacrifice because I love you so much. SubhanAllah. Imagine nice. you spoke to a bully that way. He'd cry. <laughs> He'd be so confused. That was quick, right? No, I forgot my keys. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my keys and my glasses. I'm gonna end this vlog as soon as I get to the car. Once I get to the car, I'm gonna end the vlog. Um, I'm yeah. vlogging on your GoPro. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's cool though, because I could see the, the process. There we go. Yeah. Okay. You know what? This is not a bad idea, bro. Vlogging on a GoPro. Not, I have a GoPro 7. Yeah. I could easily do this on the, on the, on the right. 7. This is a great idea. Okay. Of course the elevator is gone yeah it's all right it's all right so remember if you're having any type of bullies or conflict resolutions the real issue is you need to fix the person's perception and your own perception about and mm -hmm. when it comes to interpreting the events okay don't interpret the events as something negative interpret it as choose you have a choice on how you decide to interpret events 
it's only negative because you've told yourself it's negative. Exactly. You've believed it's negative. You've made up a story that it's negative. Assume the best. Assume the best in people. Assume the best in yeah, situations. Oh, you're on the call. Sorry. No, no, you're good. I'm on the, the mic. Sorry, Gucci. Man, why are they still up? Oh, it's late. I know. I know. It's crazy. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. This is it. We're getting to the car now. One. Get into the car now, inshallah. Because I've seen your keys, I'm like, hang on a second. <laughs> hang on a second, sir. Yeah, man, listen, this is this has been an awesome vlog. Eric's a teacher as well. He teaches martial arts. Yes, mm -hmm. Where, where's your yeah. school located? Um, what is so it, dojo? Okay. What do you want to call it, dojo? Uh, so it's called the He's Guan a sensei. in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called? Uh, Guan, and Guan? then for teacher, it's Sifu. Can I have a, a gi? Uh, do you have gis? Not on me, but no, no, no. But do you have geese? Yeah, right? yeah. Can I have one as an honorary member? Yeah. This is an honorary member. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you a cool thing. I'm gonna come back. Yeah. Listen, listen. I'm gonna call yeah. up to your thing and make a video over there. I think cool. it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. I it's think a cool, really um, cool property too. Cool. Now yeah, I'm excited, bro. I think these guys would like it as well. I think they would really yeah, appreciate totally. uh, going to a, a dojo. <laughs> exactly, my friend. It's it's always nice just having that that mindset. Yeah, man, you gotta look at things positively. Okay. This vlog ends as soon as I get to the car. The car's down there, bro. How you doing, Joe? Okay. Let's go, man. He let me in. Nice. Joe's the man. We're here in, what is this, Mamaronek? Mm-hmm. Mamaronek. It's a nice area. Right. Nice area. High taxes. High taxes, for yes, sure. Yes, unfortunately. Yep, high taxes, but good area. Look at that bike, guys. What do you guys think? Yes or no to the bike? I'm trying to convince my wife to get a bike. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I'm trying to convince my wife to get a bike. Sixteen handles. Right here, bro. Right. Oh, cool. Yeah, sorry about this. No, no, no. You good? Bro, get your money, bro. Cut it out. I know. Get your money, bro. COVID has changed the mindset of people. You see, again, it's how we interpret it. COVID ruined mm -hmm. lives or it's taught us how to get more efficient and get work done without even being physically there because businesses yeah, still insane. have to operate. Business business. Bro, you know, there's going to be organizations of business that still stay remote even when they get cleared up because they realize they're saving money. They're yeah. getting the same amount of productivity and mm -hmm. it's good. Maybe they do a once a month call in, like you come in or something like that, but you know? Yeah. Do we, is it on go yet? No, it's not. I think I have to press this button. Got a sanitizer in my hand, so. Bro, how good was that math idea about the car? What's up? How good was that math idea with the car? It's nailed it. Let's Let's go. Go. Right? You think so, yeah? I think it was really, really good. All right, guys. We're approaching the cart right now. Eric doing this thing. I'm gonna give him some space. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching and making it this far. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out some other videos of mine too. Or not. That's okay too. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And uh, until tomorrow. One day I won't be alive and I'm not going to make a YouTube video again. So enjoy these while they last because death is a guarantee to everyone. Death is a guarantee to everyone. Alright? Love you all for the sake of Allah. Remember, none of this matters. Don't be, tr don't be tricked. Alright. Till next time, Salaamu Alaikum.